Hi everyone! I'm back once again for another video related to general mathematics. So for today's video, we'll talk about inverse functions. Once again, my name is Princess Pugambal, and I'll be your guide throughout the course in general mathematics. But of course, before we start, please do not forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So mga kamatari fix, let's start. So of course, let's define first what is function. The inverse of a function is the set of ordered pairs obtained by interchanging the first and second elements of each pair in the original function. Please take note that only one-to-one -one function has inverse function. Now, the notation for inverse function is f raised to negative 1 of x. That is also the same with 1 all over f over f of x. So there are certain properties that can be applied in getting inverse of a function. Number one is the horizontal line test. Please take note that horizontal line test will help us to identify if the given function or a given graph. Second one, property of inverse, f be a one-to-one -one function with domain a and b. The third one is the inverse of s raise, f raised to negative 1 is f. Then f and f raised to negative 1 are the inverses of each other. For the next one, the inverse function interchanges the domain and range such as domain of f is equal to the range of f raised to negative 1 and the range of f is equal to the domain of f raised to negative 1. Next, the graph of f raised to negative 1 or the inverse is found by reflecting the graph of f or function. Next, it across the line y is equal to x. And for the last one, again, only one-to-one -one function can have an inverse. Now, how to find inverse function? Number one is to replace, replace f of x in terms of y. Second is to enter interchange x and y. And for the last one, we have to solve for the value of y. Now, once we finish these steps, these three steps, simple steps, no, we can now have the inverse of the given function. Okay, so um, let's try to get the inverse of the following functions. Okay, so but before we start, uh, let's uh, recall the steps in getting the, the inverse of a function. Number one is to change f of x to y. That is the first one. The second one is to interchange x and y. And for the last one, we have to solve for the value of y. Okay, so we have there the first example is equal to, or the function is equal to 3x plus 3. Now, for the first step, I have to change f of x with y. So we have y is equal to 3x plus 3. Now, the next uh, that we should do is to interchange x and y. So y will be x, while x will be y. And solve for the value of y. So we have there 3y. And of course, um, if we're solving for a variable, uh, in this case, 3y will should be left uh, alone on, on this side. And for the other value variables, we have to transfer it on the other side. Okay, So we can apply a PE. Okay? So we're in, I have to subtract um, positive 3 with negative 3. And of course, this is equality. So if you subtract negative 3 on this side, of course, we also have to just subtract uh, on the on the other side so we have to evaluate we have 3y 3 minus 3 is 0 um, equals to x minus 3 now we are solving for the value of y that means 3 must be um, um, cancelled out so for us to cancel that out we have to divide both sides with positive 3 okay that means y is equal to x minus 3 all over 3 and that also means that our inverse function of uh, 3x plus 3 is equal to x minus 3 all over 3. Uh, what we used is, uh, for, for, uh, for us to solve for the value of y, uh, we used the property of addition 
Ayan, addition of a uh, addition property of equality. Okay, uh, just take note or uh, just a reminder that we have a shortcut uh, that is called uh, transpose or transposition. No, wherein uh, the process will be easier. So, we have there x is equal to 3y plus 3. So, all I have to do is transpose uh, positive 3 on the other side. So, we have there x. Positive will be negative since it passed through the equal sign equals 3y. And then, the pro process will be the same. Divide both sides by 3. So, for us to get the value of, of, of y, we have there x minus 3 all over 3. And that's the same with this one. But then, uh, please be reminded that transposition at the end transpose is only a shortcut. Okay? The real process here is addition property of equality. For the next example, we have there negative 3x plus 2. Okay? So, same process. Once again, uh, we have here three steps in finding the inverse. So we have to change f of x with y. So we have y is equal to negative 3x plus 2. Now interchange, we have x is equal to negative 3y plus, 3, uh, plus 2. Then solve for the value of y. So we have there negative 3y plus 2. Subtract it with 2. So uh, we also have to subtract um, negative 2 on the other side. This is APE. Then evaluate negative 3y is equal to x minus 2. And since we are looking for um, the value of y, we have to divide it both sides with negative 3. Okay? So the final answer is x minus 2 all over negative 3. And since this is a, um, our denominator is negative, we have to put the negative sign uh, in the middle. So the final answer will be f of x is equal to um, negative x plus 2 all over positive 3. Again, this is an inverse function. For the next example, we have there f of x is equal to 2 all over 3 minus x. So again, we have to change f of x with y. So we have there 2, uh, y is equal to 2 all over 3 minus x. Next is to interchange x with y and y with x. So we have x is equal to 2, 2 all over 3 minus y. Okay. Next, since our um, uh, symbol in the middle is equal sign, so for us to evaluate that, we can simply cross multiply. Okay, so we have x times 3 minus y is equal to 2. Then we have to distribute x inside the parentheses. So we have 3x minus xy is equal to positive 2. Now since we are looking for the value of y, um, y should be left uh, on one side and the rest of the terms will be on the other side. So we have there negative xy is equal to 2. 3x will be on the other side so we have negative 3x. Next, simplify. Uh, of course, again, we are looking for a value of y so we have to omit negative x. Okay? So I have to divide that with negative x. Same on the other side. So we have y is equal to 2 minus 3x all over negative x. Again, we cannot have a negative denominator. So we have to uh, put our negative sign on the numerator or in the middle. So the final answer will be um, negative 2 plus 3x all over x. Okay? So that means if our y is equal to negative 2 plus 3x all over x, that means the inverse of a function is negative 2 plus 3x all over x. Okay, so for the fourth example, we have there 7x plus 1 all over 5 minus x. Okay, so same process. We have y is equal to 7x plus 1 all over 5 minus x. Again, interchange x and y, so we have x is equal to 7y plus 1 all over 5 minus y. Okay, so for us to simplify, we have to cross multiply. So we have x times 5 minus y <coughs> equals 7y plus 1. So we have to combine, um, I mean, before we combine that, I forgot, 
you have to distribute this first. You have 5x minus xy equals 7y plus 1. Now, as you can see, we have here um, variable y. So, we have to combine that first. So, we have 7y, addition property of equality, or yung shortcut um, on the transposition. So, we have positive xy. And then, we have 5x. Then, this one, positive 1, will be negative 1 on the other side. Okay, so we have there. Okay, again, we are looking for the value of y. So, in this case, we have here common factors. Okay, so we can use GCF to factor this one out. Okay, so we have to take out y. And since we take out y uh, in each term, so we are left uh, with 7 plus x. Now, if you are doubting about your answer, if you distribute y once again on the inside, we will have 7y plus xy. So that is the same with this one. Okay. So we have there 7 plus x. Uh, on the other side, is we have 1. Okay, next. So um, we are looking for the value of y. So we have to omit 7 plus x. So for us to omit that, we have to divide both sides with 7 plus x. Okay, so cancel that out. We have y is equal to 5x minus 1 all over 7 plus x. Now, obviously, there is no common factor uh, in our numerator and denominator. So it's not possible uh, for us to cancel out uh, terms anymore. So therefore, this is the inverse function of um, 7x plus 1 all over 5 minus x. Okay, and for the last example, we have there. Okay, so again, change f of x with y. Next is to interchange f x equals to y plus 5. Then cross multiply. So we have x times 7 plus y equals 2y plus 5. Now we have to sub um, distribute. Okay. Next is uh, similar with this example. We have to combine um, similar uh, that has a similar variables. Po, no? As you can see, we have there y uh, in this side and y on this side so we have to uh, put it together so we have 2y positive xy will be negative xy and so we have x 7x minus 5 then again for this term we have there 2y minus xy we have to factor that out using gcf okay so we have to take out y then we are left with 2 minus x then on the other side, we have 7x minus 5. Then um, divide both sides by uh, 2 all over uh, 2 minus x for us to solve for the value of y. So we have there 7x minus 5 all over 2 minus x. Now since there is no common factor, therefore the inverse function is equal to 7x minus 5 all over 2 minus x. And that's it. Alright, so that's the end of our um, video about inverse function. So, mga kamaterifics, see you next time. Bye-bye.